the Belgian Malinois. I've been receiving some questions, asking me, how much do we need to pay for a Belgian Malinois in Philippines? I will only state facts and make a brief explanation based from my personal experience and observation. As of this date, April 2022, you may find Belgian Malinois puppies being advertised online at prices ranging from 5,000 pesos to 15,000 pesos. For reference, these are some of the puppies advertised on the internet today and their prices. 4-month-old puppies, male and female from San Mateo Rizal near Marikina City. Puppies are vaccinated with PCCI paper, priced at 12,000 pesos each. PCCI or Philippine Canine Club Incorporated is the country's most widely recognized local dog registration body. Six weeks old male and female puppies from Sinaloan Laguna. Puppies are vaccinated with PCCI paper, priced at only 6,000 pesos each. 44 days puppies from Pazorubio Pangasinan. Vaccinated but without PCCI paper. Priced at 12,000 for a female puppy, while 10,000 for a male puppy. Male puppies from Los Baños Laguna. If with PCCI paper, 10,000 each. And 6,000 if without the PCCI registration paper. Two-month-old puppies from Cavite. With vaccination but without PCCI. 10,000 for males, and 11,000 for females. I am not in authority to say that these dogs are of poor quality just because they are priced at affordable prices. Many Filipinos do not have the privilege of having a big yard for their dogs. It's also common in Philippines that we see many people, two, three or sometimes even more families are living in one roof. This means they cannot allow their dogs to roam around inside their houses. This may be a reason why we see dogs tied up, dogs inside a kennel run, or in dog cages. Many among these dogs came from very good, line age, but there are also many, that are products by a backyard breeder or puppy miller. I met people in Philippines, selling their Belgian Malinois at 200,000 pesos each. Their dogs are trained as sniffing dogs, to find illegal drugs, gunpowder, and explosives. We often see these patrol dogs at hotels and shopping malls, and other crowded public places, with uniformed personnel, as canine handlers. Puppies or litters who are progenies of these patrol dogs, are sold at 50,000 pesos. Philippines has a tropical climate and for the most part, hot and humid. The Belgian Malinois became popular, because they can live comfortably in this climate. Sometime around 2001 to 2003, I bought a two-month-old Belgian Malinois puppy from Salang Cavite, for 10,000 pesos. The sire is Taro Bell, a popular dog during that time, because of the story about him tearing up a bite suit during a bite work. It was my first Belgian Malinois, and I was not able to distinguish that the puppy I bought has weak nerves. During training, in some unfamiliar situations, her initial reaction would bite immediately, to be able to recover from the nervy behavior, and to regain her confidence. In 2005, I bought a four-month-old puppy for 18,000 pesos, with a very promising lineage coming from NVBK titled dogs. There are groups or federations that focuses on developing the breed through competition in the ring, like NVBK, KNPV, Mondio Ring, Schutzhund, and more. This time, the puppy I got has stable nerves. However during bite training, the puppy would always end up hitting the bite suit with her nose first before she can engage a bite. We would need to keep the send-off distance to only 3 to 5 meters away. When the puppy reached its maturity, we paired it with a Philippine Mondio Ring title dog. And I was very happy to have raised some puppies with stable nerves that time. Reliable, civil dogs. In 2015, I bought a six weeks old Belgian Malinois puppy from Antipolo for only 7,000 pesos. I was surprised when I saw the puppy's registration paper, and to learn that it's a third-generation progeny, of my NVBK and Mondio ring titled Dog Breeding. You might have seen this puppy, in one of my videos, where I was teaching the puppy to climb a ladder. There are different characteristics of dogs, one should know in order to have an effective dog that will serve your specific need. You may need a civil aggressive dog for personal protection, an agile dog for sports, a dog who can work well for scent detection, or just a cool dog that will stay beside you as a companion. Do a lot of research before getting any dog. A friend told me once, that a dog is just as good as his handler, 
good hard-working handlers produce better working dogs. I hope that you've learned something from this short video. Please click the like and subscribe button if you wish to see more of my videos. If you have questions or suggestions, please use the comment section below. Train hard, make your life easy. Train easy, make your life hard. Merci d'avoir regardé. Thank you for watching.